Hey guys, it's Picasso here, and today I'm going to show you how I create this super cool double exposure look in my photographs. So starting off, we are just going to be doing this in Photoshop. I did not do this on camera, but you can do that. Um, but I can show you how to do that maybe in a different video, but today I'm just going to show you how to get the same effect in Photoshop. So here's a beautiful portrait I took of my model Leanna, and um, typically how I like to start off this type of look, I like to find a photograph that, it's, that is um, somewhat similar to, to the one I'm working on. So today I'm going to be doing this. Um, overlaying this portrait with this one and I kind of like how um, you can see the mountain going over her in this one and you can still see the same mountain just in different angles but someone in the same position just different poses and I would like to see how these two really work together so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna drag the background and I'm going to drop it with the portrait I'm going to be working on. So you see here now there's an image on top of the other and typically I would just um, kind of make sure it fits the frame and here you go. Press enter and so now you have two layers, right? Two different images. So what I'm going to do now, um, you see the opacity button here. I like to drag it down to maybe 30, 40, 50 percent. A little bit more and you're not going to see um, the image that that you are doing the um, exposure with. So I kind of like to see a good balance of both of them into the image. So then I'd like to play with the sizing. I think it's super cool if one of the images is a little bit bigger than the other one. It really gives that cool double exposure effect. Um, but that's just me. And you can play with this in different ways. Um, I just kind of like to really do this with mine. It gives a little bit more of that film-esque look that I'm looking for with these images. So I kind of like it like this. Um, I left it at 41%. Again, you can do it as um, whatever um, percentage that you'd like. I just kind of going to leave it off at 41% here. And so when it comes to then, um, then creating this type of look, it does um, underexpose it a little bit just because you're, you're bringing in more shadows into the overall image. So I'm going to open a curves layer. I like to put one dot at the bottom and one dot at the top and you kind of play with that. Um, make it a little bit lighter because it's a little dark and I kind of like that. I kind of like this look. And again, you don't have to like over exaggerate, <laughs> just a teeny tiny bit, um, bringing up the shadows. And so we do not stop here. I do want to add a little bit more color to this portrait. Um, I'm going to open, I open the um, color balance layer and here I'm going to play with a little bit of the red tones and a little bit of the yellow because the um, image under well the two images have a little bit of a tint to it I shot these in, in, a, in a blue hour was it the blue hour sunset sunsetty blue hour type uh, time of day so I do want to bring in a little bit of those um, cooler tones a little bit of a warmer tone and I kind of like it like that I think it's really nice Okay, cool. And I'm not stopping here. I'm showing you guys another example um, of how we can yet again do this to other images. So here we are, I'm working on these two very similar images. Here's Leanna um, sitting in this like 
cute little position here <laughs> in front of the uh, mountain. So again, what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna grab this one, okay. So I'm gonna drag the background and I'm gonna drop it on top of the other image we're working on. So, it, the image is a little, I opened it a little bit bigger, but maybe I'm just gonna turn out the way I want it to anyway, because I do like to overlap it with um, just extending out the other image. And so I am going to bring down the opacity here so you can see the other image from underneath. And I think these two images really complement each other. I really like how there's some mysterious over here, how um, how in the first image she's kind of looking off to the distance and then the image that I'm overlapping um, is kind of looking directly at the camera. So it's really giving that like super cool mysterious effect and I think we're going to stop right there. Alright, cool. And since I do want these two to kind of work together as a piece, the first image that we were working on, I am going to um, drag and drop the color balance and the curves layer to the image that we're working on. And I am going to fix the curves layer a little bit just because um, different images have different shadows, so obviously this one a little bit darker than the other one so I do need to bump up the shadows a little bit in this one and I think that is perfect and what you can also do is um, just turn them in black and white it really gives that super mysterious like film-esque look to your photographs and yeah you guys um and that's it that's all there is to it it's a little bit simple a little quick little simple tutorial today but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys would like to see more tutorials like this. And yeah, if you guys happen to try it out, please tag me on Twitter or Instagram at Picasso. And I would love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.